All right, I, I agree. That's good. That's good. Let's do it. This is his spot. This is his spot. All right, put a stake <laughs> in there and I'll put it in the ground. All right. Do you guys remember the bomb shelter I did for Doomsday Preppers back in 2012 with my buddy Brian? So we're going to do a video that shows then and now. So sit back and enjoy this. Go for it. Okay, all right, we're going to test the blast hatch and see how bulletproof it is. And we're going to do this one with a Newsy. Okay, so let's get in close to take a look at this. So I can see all it did was make little dents with that nine millimeter ball round. As you can tell, it just didn't even do anything. So get in closer here. Um, see that? Just little tiny, just knocked off the paint. That's all it did. Oh, that was a fun day. So that was about five years ago. That was me shooting my Uzi on the hatch with some nine millimeter ball round. But this is the actual bunker um, that we did for Doomsday Preppers. So let's check out the old Doomsday bunker here. You can still see where I shot it with the Uzi. See the rust right there? Yeah, that's the Uzi bullet. So let me um, get down here and reach inside here and grab this stainless steel lock and pull it out. Because this is a stainless steel lock, you can't even torch through it. Oh. There, there it goes. See, you can see the hatch opens up a little bit on its own. Now the new hatch, wow, you know, uh, they they come flying open just like this here. Check this out. Yeah, that was fast. So anyway, I'm going to walk down this bunker, but I'm going to go down forward instead of backwards on my butt so I could film it on the way down. So let's hope I just don't bust my ass right here. So, okay, made it. So anyway, so that's a long ways down. Let me look back up. Whoa, yeah, that's a long way. We're 21 feet underground right now, guys. So anyway, so this is the old armor-plated door that we used to do. Now we do this. See, that's a gas-tight door. So let's walk inside here. So we've got eight bunk beds. Um, there's storage underneath the bed. Let me show you. See that? There's storage underneath each bed. Let me show you the storage underneath the floor. This is pretty cool. Hold on. Let me pull this, um, let me pull this rug back here and um, open up this floor. So this is a bunch of uh, pails from Wise Food um, out of Utah. And uh, let me put this back down and... Uh, kick it there and let me hold on let me get the carpet back down so it looks good damn it it's hung up so hold on damn it let me kick this here uh come on come on all right there it goes all righty so anyway so i'm gonna walk uh backwards here so you guys can get a good overview shot so let's go back out into the mud room here so you would enter down the stairs come into the mud room you would go through your gas tight door which is what the new ones have you have a shower on the right you have a vanity on the left with some shelves you've got eight bunk beds in this particular model of bunker dinner table you got a vhf radio you've got a monitor there all right whoa hold on a second you guys remember this scene with brian this is a funny one i got four surveillance cameras high definition now look at this you see that hatch right there right. watch this hold up i'm gonna run up real quick <laughs> what an idiot is that cool yeah that's cool nobody's gonna get the jump on you buddy got a VHF radio, got a monitor there, fireplaces burning, TV, microwave, refrigerator, kitchen, leather couch that reclines, dinner table, looking back the other way. So let's go back into the master bedroom here. Now the new ones have a door right there. The, this one doesn't because it's an old one, but uh, I want to show you guys the escape tunnel because this is kind of cool. Everyone wants to know what it's like to go through the escape tunnel. So let's crawl through here and let me show you what it feels like to look up the escape tunnel. Now, this one is open because when we filmed the Doomsday Prepper episode... Brian must first drain some of the sand to avoid being smothered when opening the hatch. Seven minutes! <sighs> Seven minutes. You doggy! <laughs> Uh, we left it open and this bunker has been there for touring every since. So I'm going to go, I'm going up the bunker here and um, 
Once you get into the skate box, you grab the ladder rungs with the hatch down, and you can tell the sand's been let out of this. Okay, and normally there'd be 12 inches of dirt on top of that, um, over that, and you'd have plastic over it. So we're just gonna walk back over to the shelter and go back down it one more time. And um, so here we go again, uh, all over again. It's easier to do this and go back down that escape ladder. It's made to come out, not go down. So this time I'm gonna go down backwards and go down the right way. So this is actually what you would feel like going down your entrance pipe. Now this pipe is 48 inch diameter. And then you get into this mudroom, which is 84 inches diameter. And you see that door we're passing? That is now is a gas tight door. I'll show an image of it right here. This is the new gas tight door. And again, I'm kind of going everything. I got my monitor, my radios, my TV, my kitchen, microwave, uh, master bedroom. There's the NBC air filtration system. Uh, got the fan blowing because it's a, it's a hot day. And let's go do this one more time. So uh, here we go. Here's the escape tunnel. Okay, so let's have some fun. Let's see how fast we can get back up at this time. So typically the typical time to get out of a, a shelter using the escape tunnel is between four and a half and seven minutes. That's how long it takes to undo the bolts, uh, let the sand out, open the hatch, and then climb out. Um, this is the old style. We don't do it anymore, but this is the, um, it has a separate generator pod, and this is a marine hatch. We open it up and it's got a diesel generator underground. Now, I don't do it this way anymore because I like to access the generator pod from underground and never have to leave the bunker. But so this was a separated generator pod. Now they're all connected to the bunkers. Uh, you know, in the summer like this, all the weeds are growing up and the grass is growing up. And, uh, you know, in the winter, this is all dead. But you can see where pigs have been digging around the, around the shelter up there in the sandy loam soil. And uh, I got the... Uh, sands it so i'm going to put the hatch back down right now and i'm going to put the grab the lock here and go ahead and put it back on so you face it that way push in the pin and turn the key and it locks okay all right so um the sandbags are a berm in case someone's shooting at you when you pop your head up but uh, you look around the ranch everything's clear that's it you're good to go get the heck out of here see you guys later thanks for watching my video it don't get no better than this. It don't. <laughs> bring, bring on doomsday, huh? Woo!